Hey, it's Gears. Welcome to Gears and Bricks. Uh, today, I have a very large haul from Bricklink that I'm going to be sharing. I'm very excited. This is a lot of parts. It's a big box. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> Before I get this open, I do want to share a couple things I've been working on. I've been building more oil pump jacks. These have eyes on the sides, so they've got a little bit of character to them. And uh, so I've got that going. I don't remember if I ordered parts for that in this haul. Uh, while I was sorting, because that's always a good thing to do is sort and clean your um, area and whatnot, I found these. Okay, so pop quiz. If you've made it this far into the video, tell me what era each of these bricks is from. Like, tell me the decade. Some really cool finds there probably from my dad's collection uh, and then I'm working on I know that the parts in here are some of these that I need I can't get this whole thing in frame so I'm just gonna do like a flyby I'm clearly missing some pieces and some pieces are out of color but I'm building my second transmission tower and parts keep falling off, so I'm just gonna take them off. Whoa! Oh, I forgot that's not bolted down. Well, what do you know? So, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> see if that stays there. Okay, <laughs> let's get into this. Uh, I'll show you one more thing later that I ordered a lot of parts for as well that are in this haul. I don't have a box cutter today. All right. Let me look inside and make sure there's nothing that like a slip of paper like this one. Yeah. Make sure that doesn't make it into the video. Okay, there's packing paper. We like to see that. I don't think there are any other paper items. So, here we go. Some are new, some are used. Some are light gray, some are light bluish gray, I think. These are for transmission towers. These are also for transmission towers. Now these red ones, number six angle axle connectors, Technic connectors, number six, 90 degree. The red ones will be for the tops of the transmission towers that are near my airport model. And then I, I have uh, another Bricklink haul on its way. It'll show up in a couple days. So uh, that'll include some parts for equipping my transmission towers for airport as well. Oh yeah, these are the three by five angled 90 degree Technic lift arms, light bluish gray, 
I think I ordered 72 of these. I'm pretty sure. Number one. Uh, angled connectors. I think I ordered all they had. Most of these lots I ordered every single one they had. This, this one I did not. But these I did. These I absolutely did. These uh, I came close. This came from, am I going to say this right? Brick Fans. See if I can get this in there without, um, without doxing myself. So there's Brick Fans. Uh, yeah, cool. Oh yeah, there's a lot more to get into. Okay. Yeah, these were the reason that I went to Brick Fans. Um, originally they had 252 of these, and someone else beat me to... Uh, 40 of them. So, then there were only 212. So I quickly bought all of this and these. I need, I think, how many is it? Uh, 280 minimum. That was another reason I bought the red ones instead, because that'll help spread out the load a little these number six technical connectors. Yeah. <laughs> what else did I get? Oh, it was a big bag. Oh, yes. <laughs> Behold. I think it's 500. These are Technic axles, light bluish gray. They are seven studs long each, and there are 500 in this bag. I'm sure there's close enough to 500. Uh, they probably did it by weight. I don't imagine that most Bricklink sellers probably should do it by weight when you're talking bulk like this. So, uh, they're a little bit dirty, but um, that's okay. Uh, I'll be cleaning these anyway. So there's more. So the way. So we got axles, we got connectors, more connectors, more connectors, extenders, also considered connectors, connectors. What else? I'm, I'm just blindly reaching in here because it's like Christmas. It's like pulling things out of a stocking. <gasps> oh, this is a good bag. Oh, this is a good bag. Yes. So here we have number two. Yes, these are number two. They're always printed with a, a not printed, but embossed with a number on them. And these are number two, they're 180 degrees. And I bought, I don't think I bought all that they had, but I, again, I came close. If I get close enough, like, look, if, if they're not an expensive part and they have, say, 55 of them and I need 48, I just buy all 55, like, because I'm going to use them. I know I'm going to use them. Uh, and it's okay if you don't use every single part you own. That's just that's just efficiency, right? Uh, to have some spare. But uh, in addition to that, I got 
more of these thin lift arms, these triangles, and these are used on the oil pump jacks that you see there. So and they, I wanted a lot of black ones because then I can do an all black oil pump jack. So that's that part. And then these, they are not as yellowed as I expected. They are dirty. I will have to wash these, but uh, carefully. But these are not for oil pump jacks. I think I ordered 12 of these. I did order 12. Let's hope there are 12. Let's just, that's uh, three, four, five, six. Yep. There are 12. Excellent. Uh, I think that's all they had, which is actually how many I needed. Now, these were expensive. So, had there been 13 and, you know, being used and white, if there's extras, even if they're expensive, like if they were $3 a piece and I needed 12 and there were 13, I would only buy 12. You know, they can deal with the one, that's fine. But because these were, let me look. Um, does not say, that's okay. So there's not actually prices listed on the manifest or um, inventory or whatever you call it. I'm calling it all the wrong things, aren't I? That's okay. Um, they weren't, they were not terribly expensive, but they were a little bit pricier than most of these parts. Most of these parts were under 10 cents a piece. And then these were probably, uh, I wanna say they were close to a dollar a piece. So they were, but I'll show you what these are used for later. Yeah, oil pump jacks and transmission towers, right? I like to grable as I go. Okay. One, two, okay, there we go. Okay, not grable. That's the wrong word again. Um, I'm full of all sorts of incorrect vocabulary today. Uh, no. Knolling, K-N-O-L-L-I-N-G. Knolling, that's what I was thinking of. Okay, five length axles, also for transmission towers and whatever else. These are light bluish gray, 500 of them I believe. Let's check the not manifest again. Yes, 500. Um, so, most of those axles will be used for transmission towers. Okay, these also go on transmission towers. These are what hold, do I have another one of those? Go. I don't have one on hand to show, but uh, the steering racks from the 90s. That's what's used. Uh, these are used to hang them which then the cable is run on. So, this will be quite useful. Knolling is the art of laying everything out, and I'm not doing a very good job of it, but laying everything out in an orderly fashion by ones, like single individual pieces, and laying them out in a perfectly even grid to allow yourself to see the whole taken apart. It's just a, it's a method that some people use to, to build and whatever else. Okay. Ooh, ooh, this is also exciting. Okay. Number three, angled connectors. Again, all they had also for transmission towers. And these white ones, not for transmission towers, but the same thing that those other pieces are used for these. This is not knowing, this is just piling together. 
some of them. Again, these are telephone poles, right? So these are what hold the, they're the one by five, rounded end, four studs, one axle hole through the metal plates. Technically, they are considered Technic plates. So, there's that. Okay. Um, last couple of bags. Let's save the best for last. All right. Uh, transmission towers again. So, those are very good pieces to have. Same part, the brown ones are the same part as this one. And these go uh, into the feet, down in the base of the transmission towers. And they are hidden by the mills plate, M-I-L-S, Modular Integrated Landscaping System. They're hidden by the mills, so it doesn't matter what color. So anytime I see these for like less than 15 cents a piece, I've been buying them. If somebody has like one or two and it's like 25 cents, I usually still buy it because I just need so many. Okay. Also, Number three, angled connectors. These are light gray, old light gray, so they were separated from these, which are light bluish gray. And again, the white pieces are used for the same project that these white pieces are used for. These are a half bush. There should be nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I, yeah, littles like that, I nor normally count one by one. I just, I get close enough and say, oh yeah, it's good enough. Um, like if there's one or two missing from, say, uh, this lot, not a good deal. This would be a huge deal. These were over a dollar a piece. They were, I think they were close to a dollar fifty a piece. Okay. Why did I spend money on these just to get white? Well, So that's it for the haul. Thanks for watching it this far. Uh, now I'm gonna be talking about something I've been working on for three years. Let me throw most of this back in the box. It's a good way to store it out of the way and I'll count them. I'm still going to count everything and make sure it's all there. But again, most of the time it's done by weight, so if it's missing, a couple, you know, whatever. Okay. Okay, that's it for that. All right. So we're going to get out. And I'm filming this on a white table, so I don't know how well this is going to show up. But I'm going to try doing our best here, right? I definitely don't want to lose those. Okay. Seal this back up, and we put it back in the box. Okay. Same thing over here. Can't lose those. Don't run away. Don't run away from me. Turn those back in the box. Oops. Okay. I'll count that later. All right. So what in the world am I using this for? Well, whoops. I'm trying to give you motion sickness. Okay. Let me get down here with the camera. This is a new revision of my most popular, is it my most popular? 
I think it's my second most popular. I think the transmission towers and the power lines took over. But uh, this is my second most watched video. Is a slow motion, or not slow motion, uh, time lapse of this dish here, which is actually a lid to a Lego canister. But it rocks, it doesn't turn, it rolls. And this, I did actually a short time lapse video of it doing that motion, and you can check that out. There's a link to that in the description. There will also be linked in the description to this video the other two, part one and part two, that break this down, how it's built, my design process, and so on and so forth. Part one goes into a lot of, well, both part one and part two of how this is built and how I got there uh, are relevant, but part one is more relevant to the design process that I have and my journey through my thought process and how I revise, reiterate, research, and that R&D, research and development. But part two really focuses on, okay, well, once I got down to business, like, how did I do it? It's at the tail end of part one, and, and then part two goes into depth on how this particular one was built and realized. So I uh, highly recommend watching both, but it, it would take you an hour, so that's up to you. Uh, but yeah, uh, like, um, anyway, so maybe it'll give you some ideas on how to design your own as well. Okay, so this one, originally the motor mounted here, there was a micro motor in here, but that made this taller by a couple of plates because the motor mounts are tall. You can see the motor here. And so it would mount, actually it's upside down. The whole thing's built upside down. And you can see this is too short. So it would have to be a plate taller. Uh, and because it's actually the way it aligned up with the hole, I think it had to be two plates taller or something like that. Um, I'm looking for white lattice plates. So I found some, they're very hard to find. Uh, new, so I'm probably gonna have to buy used, which I don't like to do, but I did it for these, so maybe, maybe it'll work out. Uh, so the micromotor now will be mounted at the top here. This is, I didn't even tell you what this is. Okay, for those that don't know, this is the subreflector assembly. It's the, the pivoting system, or sorry, not pivoting, pointing system. It's the pointing system of DSS-43. And um, it's, It's sort of a complex structure. I recommend watching the at least the part two video on how this is done. Uh, the tail end of part one is also relevant to that. But there's, at the top of DSS 43, Deep Space Station 43, the project I've been working on for three years, has a red crane that unfolds at the top and I thought well I can stick some crane looking pieces at the top with this motor that are red and black and then put the the black wire on here and disguise that as the winch and then hide the wire as it snakes its way down through the quadrupod which is a four-legged structure that holds this up of the dish of the main reflector. Um, not just above this, this is part of this, but it holds all of this above the main reflector. So what is the point of all these? Well, 
these are going to replace some components. And I'm going to take this fella off because the wire dragging across the table is driving me crazy. There, finally. Oh, I can breathe. Okay. And in fact, I'm going to just remove this whole thing. Okay. There's, and because of the way that this housing is designed, this hat shaped design, uh, the gears will not fall out unless I pull it off this way. And they're meant to slide out this way. So that's just a cool piece, hat shape, top hat shape. Okay, so with this all out of the way, we can focus and get down and dirty with this thing. And in fact, I'm going to take this off here. Okay, so I had some white half bushes already, but now I'm going to replace these half bushes that are gray with the white ones I ordered. These are going to be replaced with these, and all of these are going to be replaced with these. Uh, this will make it almost entirely white. These parts only come in dark brown. These three branch, 120 degree parts. Let's see if it had a number on it, but I don't see one. So, um, and then the axles in here that are red, I'm gonna replace with black. I thought about replacing all of the axles with white axles because the four length and the two length all come in white. They're really, really expensive, but it could be done. Uh, I'm gonna build it with black pins and rods and see how it looks. And these have to be brown. Like, there's no way around that until Lego decides to come out with a more preferable color. Uh, but uh, it's just one of those things. Um, anyway, so that's the plan. So, <sighs> thanks for watching. Um, and, uh, if, uh, if you made it this far, thank you. <laughs> uh, normally, I forgot what I was going to say. It's been a long day. I'm going to log off now. Uh, thanks for watching. Gears out. <laughs>